Boys, boys, boys and girls. And Jackie and Hans, bye. <laughs> I know everything. Okay, so I know I've been a bit quiet and I know there was a couple of guys that was worried and st I'm still here, I'm still here. It's just that time of the year where the HO side of business was fireworks and um, obviously I didn't do as much as I wanted to this side. Just a quick one before we go further. This is a GM AM Gadget in 124 scale. You know this logo well. This is a 1.2 meter long 22 kg behemoth. I'm waiting for a loco from Andrew Giffen in the UK, which is a 25 class Vorshond. That's the one with the long tender. And you see this little purple thing here. That's how long it's going to be. Isn't that absolutely ridiculous? That will be the biggest loco on my roster, I think. Yeah. 1.4 meters. He says around about 14 kgs. And we might need to ballast the bit because it's only, you know, a single set of mechanisms. So, yes. All right. Anyway, and that was the one thing that I wanted to show you quickly. The other thing is all the work standing here. I got to build these two still. Um, the plan is to, before the end of the year, build one more XPJ. And then I built this one. These boxes are done. This has got to go to a customer. Um, I've got... so funny if you look at it like that. And you look at the unbuilt one. <laughs> I've got a box for this one already. I just need to bolt this quickly. And then um, deliver this one and the other two um, to their new owners before the end of the year. That's the plan. All right. So there, there. <laughs> and then uh, this is all... Nicely weathered and stuff. He said to me, Rickus, I want to see that that thing was silver back in the day. I don't want a cream one. So I said, okay, okay. So I did it like this. Um, not overly weathered, just... Well, there's nothing like overly weathered, but uh, less weathered. All right. And then the... I want to show you something else, but... Then there is this one that's also going, I just need to put its um, warning plates over it wires. I just need to put those on right now before I do anything else. And then design the box for these. The red one is standing inside there so I can deliver those as well. And then I'm done. And then in other news, seeing that we did this whole thing from the start, to where it's almost finished. Yes, there is the 1928. Look at the decal there. Hey, 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 hey. It's so good it won't even focus on it. Yes. So this thing is basically done. Um, I weathered the trailer a little bit, you know, like I can remember. It's still just the hydraulic pipes and the hydraulic tank that I must do, but I haven't got time for that. Now I will do that. Um, as soon as I get speed for this thing again, you can also see I weathered it a bit. Look at the windscreen wipers. <laughs> the white marks on the windscreen. And uh, yes, and to connect to that, seeing that I want to build um, another one, a 2628. Hey, old Kerry Point in the in Tasmania, Australia, send me another couple of cabs. So now we can start building these. Um, and see where we get to. But slightly above it is my newest plan. <laughs> Look, the, the, the cab is a filament printed cab that I sanded the crap out of. Um, I haven't put a gloss coat on it to see what it looks like, but that won't make it. We will do a resin cab. It's a very, very difficult um, cab to print for various reasons um, we will see what we can do my printers are on holiday the lucky people um, we will see what we can do when they get back but that's basically it we had so many resin failures yeah they are they're all standing over here 
Um, none of these made it. But we'll probably print one in resin as soon as we get our head around it. Um, <clears throat> I want to do this one as an experimental cab. I'll spray it and see what it looks like. But I got the wheelbase right on a chassis that I modified from one of the AMT models. You know, the stuff I bought from Jörg, which was actually, <laughs> don't tell anybody, his brother is going to, old Sven is going to kill me, but I stripped this one. Because it wasn't a truck that I really liked. I mean, we never had it yet, so I can use the cab to build a pay star later or so. Um, but I used that chassis, modified it a bit there. You can see I will make that pretty later. Uh, and obviously it won't have the pieces of wood. It's just to get the stands right so I can see what I need to do. But that's the wheelbase from the drawings. Um, I think it's a 3.82 3.82 wheelbase, something like that. Okay, so obviously now it gets the air cleaners, yeah, and the exhaust just on the inside of it. This will also have the spare wheel carrier and the long range tank behind that. So it's going to be a very busy truck and I want to put that tank on the back of it. I just need to sort of, these AMT models, it's a right cow to get the wheels off. I drilled those out, but I will change these. I'm going to use everything that's left from that truck to build my Eagle with later. Um, the sun case. That's also one that I very, very eagerly want to do. So yeah, that's the truck sorted. Yeah, yeah. And that's basically it, dudes. So I'm still here. I'm okay. I think I might have lost my monetization on my channel because they wanted some personal information that oh, I didn't even care about. You make bugger all on those things in any case. So, yeah, that went out the door. Um, now it's just for fun. Uh, really? They can you make one dollar a day. Lacquer, man. Anyway, so, yes, that's it. Dudes, if I don't speak to you before the new year... Um, Merry Christmas. Um, have a hell of a lot of fun. Um, do what you need to do. Bry a lot and all. I, yeah, when I'm standing, I can actually smell people brying. That's why I say it's that time of the year we need to actually relax. Um, I'm also still busy with the new 35s. I'm cutting chassis and stuff. Um, I've already assembled a couple. They're lying in the layout room for the, they're going overseas. I've done two chassis already, so that's cool. Right, so I'm on it, boys. I'm on it. Okay, till later then. Good night, Okies. Tot ziens.